Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to look at how to dirty up your sounds in BandLab. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Using effects to make sounds dirtier, rougher, or grittier can have useful mixing applications. I'm going to make a quick beat and add some distortion effects that will improve the mix and make it sound more exciting. I'm going to stick with the default tempo of 120 beats per minute, but I changed the project key to G minor. The first element I'm going to make is a beat. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads 909 kit. I add kick drums on each beat of a bar. Then duplicate out the bar for the rest of the 4-bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and drag them over. I'm going to add the rest of the drums on a separate track, so that I can process the kick and the rest of the drum sound separately. To get a tops layer, I open BandLab Sounds, and enter House into the text search field. I open the classic Chicago house pack, and set the instrument filter to beats. I like the sound of Chicago house drums 08. This will fit perfectly as it's a complete house beat but with no kick. I drag it into the project. Now I need a bass line. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to Synth Basses, Fancy Bass. I sequence a bass line that plays G, B flat, A, F, A, G. I'd also like a vocal sample to spice things up, so in BandLab Sounds, I click the Loops tab and set the instrument filter to Voice and the genre filter to Pop R&B. Don't close your eyes. LD120 Don't Close Your Eyes 1 bar sounds cool, so I drag it into the project and position it at the end of the fourth bar. Don't close your eyes. It's a little loud relative to the other elements, so I set it to minus 4 dB. Don't close your eyes. Now let's dirty up these sounds to see if we can get a better mix. On the 909 track, I add a distortion BL driver. I turn the tone all the way up. The driver brings out the mid-range harmonics of the kick and makes it sound punchier, but it also makes it louder, so to rebalance the track with the other elements, I turn BL Driver's volume down to 3.5. Don't close your eyes. For the top layer, I add a distortion, Tape Simulator. Turning up the speed knob gives the sound more of a saturated analog feel, and I set this to 44%. I set the tape simulator's volume to minus 3.3. Don't close your eyes. Now let's tackle the bass. I'm going to add a distortion, Bit Crusher. We can achieve a cool effect by reducing the bit depth. At a level of 4, this gives us a really full-on, crunchy sound, but I think it's a bit much for this particular project. I return the bits up to 16, and instead bring the intensity fader, which controls the sample rate reduction, 
up to 47%. This gives the sound a crunchy, lo-fi, digital bite that helps it punch through the mix. Don't close your eyes. I don't want this effect to be too dirty though, so I set the mix fader to 50%. For the vocal, I add a distortion, Exciter. This helps bring out the high end of the signal, and I turn the tune, harmonics, and threshold all the way up to bring out the sound as much as possible. Don't close your eyes. This is cool, but I feel like a delay effect would make for a much more interesting sound. I add a delay, Filter Echo Plus. I set the time to quarter note triplets and turn up the feedback to 80%. Don't close your eyes. I feel like this sounds pretty good. Let's compare it with the original unprocessed version. The processed version has a big, punchier, and more lo-fi feel. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!